Hi everyone, it's Jillian and welcome back to my channel, Hooked and Smitten. For today's tutorial, we're going to be working on a snowflake hexagon motif. Let's get started. To begin, you're going to start with a magic ring. You're going to chain two. You're going to make a double crochet inside the ring. And along with the chain two that you made in the beginning and the double crochet, that's going to count as your first double crochet two stitches together. You're now going to chain two, and this will be the start of your repeat for round one. You're going to double crochet two stitches together inside the ring. You're going to wrap your hook, go inside the ring, and you're going to pull up a loop. And you're going to pull two loops off your hook. You have two left. You're going to wrap your hook, go inside the ring, pull up a loop. You have four loops here. You're going to pull two loops off. And you have three loops left and you're going to wrap your hook and pull through all three loops. And that is a double crochet two stitches together. And you're going to repeat. You're going to chain two and double crochet two stitches together. Wrap your hook, go into the ring, pull up a loop. You have three loops, pull two loops off. Wrap your hook, go into the ring, pull up a loop. You have four loops on your hook, pull through two loops. You have three loops left and you're going to wrap your hook and pull through all three. And you're going to repeat, chain two, double crochet two stitches together. And you're going to repeat that sequence two more times. We have four here and we need a total of six. So you have one, two, three, four. Repeat two more times and I will meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, you're going to chain two. And you're going to join to the first cluster, you're going to pull your ring close, and you're going to join to the first cluster with a slip stitch. And that is the end of round one. To begin round two, you're going to start by making a slip stitch into the chain two. Chain two. Make a double crochet into the chain two. And just like in round one, that's going to count as your double crochet two stitches together. You're now going to chain two. And into the same chain two space, you're going to double crochet two stitches together. So if you remember, you're going to wrap your hook first and you're going to go into the space, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. You're going to pull two loops off. You have two loops left. You're going to wrap your hook, go into the space again, pull up a loop. You have four loops on your hook. You're going to pull through two loops. You have three loops left and you're going to pull through all three loops. You're going to chain two and that's going to get, get you over to the next chain two space. And you're going to double crochet two stitches together. Chain two. And you're going to double, two, you're going to double crochet two stitches together into the same space. And you're going to repeat chain two into the next chain two space. You're going to double crochet two stitches together. Chain two and double crochet two stitches together into the same space. And you're going to repeat this sequence of stitches three more times. And I'll meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, you're going to chain two and you're going to make a slip stitch to the first cluster. And that is the end of round two. For round three, you're going to start by making a slip stitch into the chain two space. You're going to chain two. Make a double crochet into the chain two. Chain three. This time you're going to chain three, not two. And make a double crochet two stitches together into the same space. Chain three. Into the next chain two, make a single crochet. 
chain three into the next chain two you're gonna double crochet two stitches together chain three double crochet two stitches together into the same space and you're going to repeat you're going to chain three single crochet into the next space chain three double crochet two stitches together into the next space chain three and make a double crochet two stitches together into the same space and you're going to repeat this sequence of stitches all the way around and I'll meet you at the end At the end here, you should have one chain two space left and into that space, you're going to make a single crochet. You're going to chain three and you're going to join to the first cluster with a slip stitch. And that is the end of round three. To begin round four, you're going to start by making a slip stitch into the chain three, chain two, make a double crochet into the chain two, into, into the chain three. You're going to chain one, you're going to double crochet two stitches together into the same space, you're going to chain three, and you're going to make a picket stitch by inserting your hook at the base of the last cluster that you made. So you're going to insert your hook under these three loops like that, and you should have four loops on your hook and you're going to make a slip stitch through all the stitches and that is your peacock stitch right there chain one and make a double crochet two stitches together into the same space chain three into the next space you're going to make a slip stitch not a slip stitch a single crochet sorry single crochet into the next space chain three and single crochet into the next space chain three into the next space you're gonna make a double crochet two stitches together chain one double crochet two stitches together chain three and you're going to make your peacock stitch at the base of the last cluster, like that. And you're going to pull through for a slip stitch. Chain one. And make another double crochet two stitches together into the same space. And you're going to repeat. You're going to chain three. Single crochet into the next space chain three single crochet into the next space chain three and make a double crochet cluster into the next space double crochet two stitches together chain one double crochet two stitches together into the same space Chain three to make your peacock. Chain one and another double crochet cluster, three sti two stitches together into the same space. And you're gonna repeat this sequence of stitches all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the round, you should have two chain three spaces left. You're going to make a single crochet into the next space, chain three, single crochet into the next space, 
and at the end of the round you're going to chain three and you're going to make a slip stitch to the first cluster and I'm going to cut my yarn here we're going to switch colors for the next round And that is a snowflake. You can see the snowflake design right there. For round five, I'm gonna join with a standing single crochet. This, this was my last stitch and I'm gonna join here with a standing single crochet and you can use a slip stitch, chain one and a single crochet that way. And you can actually join in any one of these spaces that you feel like, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna join where I left off right here. And to make a standing single crochet, I'm going to put a slip knot on my hook. And I'm going to go into that space, that chain one space, space, the first chain one. And I'm going to make a single crochet there. So you have two loops on your hook and you're going to wrap your hook and pull through both loops. And into that same space, you're going to make another single crochet. Okay, and then you're going to make uh, two single crochet into the next chain one space right here. But you're going to move the picot forward. You're going to work behind the picot. You're going to make two single crochets. Into the chain three, you're going to make two double crochets. Into the next chain three, you're going to make one double crochet. And you're now going to make an elongated double crochet into round two. So you're going to go into round two right here and you're going to make an elongated double crochet. So you're going to wrap your hook and you're going to go into that space. You're going to pull up a loop and you want to make sure that it's the height of the other stitches and you're just going to complete your double crochet stitch by pulling through two loops and then two loops. And into that same space you're going to make another double crochet. Into the next chain three, you're going to make two double crochets. And this here is your stitch repeat for round five. So you're going to repeat again by making two single crochets into the chain one. You're going to make two single crochets into the next chain one by moving the picot, by working behind the picot stitch. into the chain three, two double crochets. Into the next chain three, one double crochet. And then you're gonna make an elongated double crochet into round two. Making sure to pull up on that stitch so that it's the height of the other stitches. And you're going to finish your double crochet stitch and into that same space you're going to make another double crochet into the next chain three two double crochets and you're just going to repeat this sequence all the way around and i'll meet you at the end At the end of the round, you're going to make a slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch. And that is the end of round five. For round six, you're going to start by making a slip stitch into the next single crochet stitch. And you're going to slip stitch into the space behind the picot. On one side, you have two single crochets and two single crochets on the next. And you're going to go into the space behind the picot. And you're going to make a slip stitch and you're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet stitch into that space you're going to make another double crochet chain three and make two double crochets into the same space 
and this is gonna count as your first corner for the hexagon you're now gonna be working you're gonna skip the two single crochets and you're gonna work into the space between the single crochet and the double crochet and you're gonna make two double crochets You're going to skip the two double crochets and you're going to work in between the space here and make two double crochets. You're going to skip those stitches and you're going to be working into the space, make two double crochets. Skipping those stitches and working into that space. You're going to make two double crochets. And you're now at another P cut and you're going to skip those two single crochets and you're going to make another corner by working into that space behind the P cut. So you're going to make two double crochets. Chain three make two more double crochets into the same space okay so now you've now created your two corners and you're going to repeat skipping those two single crochets and working into the space make two double crochets Skip those two double crochets and walking into that space, make two double crochets. Skipping these stitches and walking into that space, make two double crochets. Okay, you're going to skip these stitches and make two double crochets into the next space. And you're now at the next P cut and you're gonna make two double crochets behind the P cut for your next corner. You're gonna chain three and make two double crochets into that same space. And you're just gonna repeat this sequence all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the round, you're going to fasten off by joining to the first stitch here. And I usually join to the first double crochet stitch and I use an invisible join. So I'm just going to cut my yarn here. And I'm going to go to the first double, double crochet stitch. And then I go into the back loop of the last double crochet stitch that I made and I pull that through and just try to make it as close to the others as possible. And then you're going to go ahead and sew in your ends. And that is the end of the tutorial on how to make a hexagon snowflake granny. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a, a like, share it, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.